Good evening, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm wearing my amazing Spider-Man shirt. Check that out. Uh, another gift from my brother Ed and my sister-in-law Jody for from a couple of Christmases ago. So, uh, very cool shirt. I like it a lot. Anyhow, today's video is very special. Um, I've told you guys in the past that I take requests, um, and this one is. A uh, special one because I've gotten a request from a relative of mine. I have relatives that live in Yuma, Arizona, and um, I've got a little niece who is five years old. Her name is Merle Ann, and she was watching my Olivia the Octopus video the other night. She was going along with it, following along, and painting on her little uh, easel uh, at home, and her dad sent me pictures of this, which was super, super cool. Uh, I asked her dad, I said, hey, what would she like for me to do as a tutorial? And she said she wanted to see a little doggy. So a little doggy it is. I drew and painted our blue little cute doggy here uh, earlier today. So we're going to be doing a tutorial on that. So Merle Ann has an older brother named Hyphy who's 10 years old. And she has a little sister who's named Ocean who's only one. And I do want to say hi to both of them. Hi, guys. Hope you guys are... I'm uh, going to have some fun with this video if you guys also decide to watch it, but definitely in Merle Ann, uh, if you enjoyed this, sweetie. Um, also, I want to say hello to another niece and another nephew that were there that night. And I think uh, one of them even painted a little bit with Merle Ann. But uh, Jazzy, who's 11 years old, and her little brother, Max, who is six. I want to say hi to both of you guys also. Um, and if you guys decide to paint um, the little doggy here, please send me pictures. I'd love to see what you guys do. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. It's brand new, and uh, the more people I get subscribing, the more quickly my channel grows, and uh, I would really, really appreciate that. Also, if you guys could, could hit that little notification bell icon next to the sub, uh, subscribe button, uh, you'll get notifications anytime I upload a new video. So I would definitely appreciate that. Comments, questions, and things like that, please put them down underneath in the comment section below the video. And requests please send those to me as well um, thank you everyone for being here I really really appreciate it but anyhow we're gonna be doing this video in two steps more than likely two parts of it anyway first part we draw out our little doggy and then the second part we end up painting it so hope you guys are all ready for that nothing fancy is necessary basic pencil and then to paint it you don't have to necessarily you don't have to paint it you could also color with crayons or colored pencils uh, whatever you guys have around your house, markers even, uh, would work. So anyhow, folks, let's get moving on this. I'm going to uh, get ready for the drawing part of it, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, everyone, so here we go. Here we go. Merlin, hopefully you are ready. So um, we got our little, our little doggy over here, little blue doggy. Just a couple things I want to point out as I always do, is let's look at the overall shapes. We've got kind of a little bit of a circular part here, almost like a circle. And then this part's also a little bit of a circle. Uh, the body, you can break down the body in a couple of parts. Like this could be a little circle if you were to complete it. Um, the little ears are just rectangles with partial circles, part circles on the end. So this could be a rectangle, little circle, rectangle like this. And then you got a couple of part circles. The eyes, they're almost like ovals or eggs, right? Um, little nose is almost a triangle, so on and so forth. We're going to start with our head. Okay, we're going to start uh, doing the head first. Got my little number two pencil. I've got a couple of markers, which I'll be outlining with so that you guys can see. You guys can, that's optional for you guys at home if you feel like markers will help. So here's our little pencil. I'm going to draw the little head. What, whatever you're drawing on, you want to make sure that you leave enough space for the body and the ears, okay? So you, in other words, you don't want to make the head so big that you're not going to have any room to make any of that other stuff, unless you only want to draw the head, which is also, which would also make for a really cool little drawing, I think. But anyhow, let's start with that head. So the top of my head, of my little blue doggy's head, is going to be about right here. And I'm going to make this light at first, so don't, don't worry if you can't see it. I'll, I'll darken it up in just a moment. So that's the top of the head. Okay, I'm going to... Slowly do this, and then actually I made it a little too close to the side, so I'm going to bring that back a little bit by erasing. Okay, again I kind of uh, broke my own rule right there where I was saying I don't don't make it too close to the edge, otherwise 
you know, you want to leave space for everything. So we're going to bring our little head over a little bit closer. Yeah, there's the top, closer to the center of the canvas. Oh, by the way, I'm using an 8x10 canvas. You guys can use construction paper. You can use uh, regular paper. Whatever you got at home is, is fine, okay? Whatever you can draw on at home is perfect. So, all right, so let me go ahead and continue there. Made the little head. This side comes down like that, so we're going to go this way to the little cheek. A little cheek kind of comes out a little bit. And again, guys, don't worry if you can't see this. I'm going to darken it up in just a second. Then the little chin comes down, this part underneath, underneath the mouth, comes over this kind of like a circle. I'm drawing it light because I want to be able to come in and, er and erase if I make any mistakes, okay? So I'm going to start, stop right here. I'm going to come back over to this side and come down like this. Okay. Come down. Then again, I make a little space for his cheeks, this little round part for, for my little blue doggie's cheeks. Okay, so let me go ahead and use my marker to, uh, to darken all that up so you guys can see what I just did. Make it easier for you guys to see. So here's the top of his little head. And it could be a little girl if you're trying to make a little, maybe here's a little girl doggy. I'm going to leave a little space in between right here for the ears, all right? So I'll come back around. There's my little cheek. Come underneath the mouth. This is the chin part, this right here. And I'm going to come back up. Come back over, I leave a little space. <clears throat> that little space is where I'm going to put my ears. And if you decide you want to close that not and not leave a space, that would be okay too, okay? So uh, there is our head. Now I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the left ear first. So again, nice and light. I come out this way. And what did I say the ear kind of looks like? Looks like a rectangle. So I'm gonna draw that rectangle first. Come down like this like this, okay? As if I'm going to make a rectangle and I'm not gonna close off the sides. So let me mark, darken this up a little bit so you guys can see. So I drew a little line out from the head and then I, do two, I did two lines like that. Again, it looks like I was going to do a rectangle but I'm not putting these lines in. What I'm going to do there is I'm gonna draw part circles, like little circles, right? Like if I was gonna do, or, or a U, this is more like a U. All right, and then I'll do the same thing up here. Actually, this is also almost like a little U. Okay. And then I come in right here and I connect that to the head. So let me darken that up. Now my ear's probably a little skinny, but that's okay. I, you know, this one's a little, a little fatter. If I wanted to, I want to fix that, yeah, let me go and fix it. There's nothing wrong with erasing. A lot of people don't like to erase or not have to erase, but sometimes to correct something, that's okay to do it, okay? So I'm just gonna bring this out a little bit farther. I just want my doggy to have bigger ears. So there's that, okay? And now let me go ahead and outline the whole thing. So here's the part that I did with the lines on each side, all right? And then I come over and I do like this, a U or a half a circle, okay? Same thing, on. so I, I'd make this line come out like this and then I close that off with a little, like a, a, a U, upside down U, or a smiley face, frown. That's more like a frown, right? Because because it's up, upside down. So let's go to the other side. We're gonna make that ear over there too. So from the top right here, I'm gonna draw a little line out. So that's this part here. This comes out a little bit, and then I'm gonna draw. I'm going to draw two lines again, as if I'm going to make a rectangle. There's one line, and then there's the other. And let me darken those up. All right. So now, oh, and that's probably a little skinny, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave it. Now I'm going to close this by using, it's like a, an upside down, it's like a U, not an upside down U, but a U or a sideways U. It's kind of like this. A U would be like this, right? But I'm doing it like that, okay? So here we go. Or a little half circle. You can also look at that as a, as a half circle. And I'll do the same thing right here. Connect, connect these two little areas. Now what do I do with this? I just bring it in. I just bring that in like this. All right, now my doggy has two little ears. Let me go ahead and go with, around it with my marker. There's that. Those are the lines that I did at the beginning. Then I close this off with an upside down sideways U. I have my little line right here, and I do the same thing there. And then I connect this <clears throat> to that. 
<clears throat> now these little pink areas right here, those would be the insides of the doggy's ears, right? The inside of the doggy's ears are usually kind of a pink color. So that's what that is. And all we're gonna do is come in from right here from the bottom, or you can start from the top, doesn't really matter. So I'll do this, and I'll do this. Two little lines, kind of little curvy lines that come in, and then I'm going to connect them. All right, so that looks like this, and I'm gonna use a, a burgundy marker, marker for this. That looks like that. All right, other side. A little curvy thing that comes in, a little curvy thing that comes in, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect those two. There we go. So that looks like a little curvy line that comes in, curvy line that comes in, and then I bring those together. All right? And look at that. It's looking, our little doggy's looking nice, and uh, his little head's looking nice, and it's you know, taking shape. So what is next? Okay. The next thing I want you to do is to, you're going to find the middle between the top of your doggy's head and the bottom of his chin. So find about the middle. Now you're not going to be able to see this at home. Probably not gonna see it because the light, the, the pencil mark that I use is gonna to be too, uh, too light. But I only, the reason I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna do it light and I'm gonna leave it light. It's just a, an area, a, mar a marker, a place. Um, it's gonna mark the, the area that the little eyes are going to sit on. So just so that I can make sure that, the, that it's kind of straight, okay? So again, I'm not going to darken that up. You make your own little line and you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. So there's my little line. First thing I'm going to do is make my right eye, my little doggy's right eye. And what is that? A big, long, upside down U. Look at that, all right? So I can start from the top. I'll find where the top is. And then from there, I just go like this and I stop at that light, at that line that I made. Okay, one on each, so like this, just like that. Same thing on each side. And I stop right at that line that I made. All right, so now I come over to my left eye, my doggy's little left eye. I do the same thing, I find the top, and then I just bring that, it's an upside down U, goes all the way down to my little line. Okay, just like that. Now look at this. The bottom of each eye has like a, like a frown or an upside down smiley face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Do upside down smiley face upside down smiley face. Boys and girls, if any of this is too fast, simply pause and back up on the video, okay? You don't have to uh, follow along with me exactly, right? If you're, you know, if I'm going too fast, simply pause it and go back. Nothing wrong with that. So here I grab my marker and I'm going to come in and do that and do that so you at home can see me. And I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way around like that. And like that. All right, so we got our little doggy's eyes. And my little doggy's eyes, this one, his eyes are a little closer to the middle. I'm okay with that. This one's are a little wider apart. That's okay too. Uh, everyone's little doggy is gonna look a little different and that's perfectly fine. So what's next? Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the little doggy's mouth. So somewhere between the bottom of his eyes and the bottom of his chin, we're gonna find a little spot. So let's go to the bottom of his chin first. The bottom of his chin's here. I'm just gonna come up a little bit and I'm gonna draw a little spot right there, just a little spot. Okay, what that is, is this right here, this little point where his little smile opens up. So from there, I do like a little curve out this way. Okay, and then from the other side, I do the same thing, opposite way. So two little curves, so up and then down and back up, all right? And for that, I think I am going to use, I have a black marker in here somewhere, but I'm not gonna grab that. I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use my blue marker for that. We're gonna, we're gonna keep using the blue marker. Actually, no, hold on a second. Okay, I grabbed my, my little black marker for this. And so this, so this is what I have. So again, from our little point, I come over, go up, I do the same thing. And that, boys and girls, is that little part right here, okay? So we do have a little line that comes up, so we draw a little line, this little area between his, between his, you know, right in the middle of his mouth. And then above that, what do we have? We have his little, his little nose, and what, what's that nose look like? Almost 
like an upside down uh, triangle, almost. So if we're going to do an upside down triangle, what would, what would we do? We would draw the line on top like this. And then this is actually going to be a little bit curved, just a little bit. Yours doesn't have to be curved. It can look just like an upside down triangle and that would work. Um, I'm going to take my brown pencil because his little nose is brown. Yours doesn't have to be brown. It could be a different color. Whoops, that was the wrong one. I've got some colored pencils here. I'm going to use my brown one to outline his nose so you can all see what that looks like. There we go. And then I also want to use my black marker to um, color in that little part of his mouth. Okay, so what's next? We're going to make our little doggy's little tongue. His little, he's wagging his little tongue. He's, he looks happy. He's smiling. His little tongue sticking out. And what is the tongue? It's an upside down U with a little line through it. Upside down U with a little line through it. So starting on one side, I, I make my little upside down U and then I come up and I make my little line down the middle. Look at that. That is one happy doggy right there. So now let's see, I'm gonna take my red marker or burgundy marker. Whoop, 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 whoop too much, that's okay. We'll fix that when we do the paint. So just like that and like that. I should have used that side first. That's all right though. All right, very cool. What else is, what else do we need to do on our doggy's face? Well, look, he's got these little cool whiskers. Look at those whiskers. Let's make some whiskers on our doggy. And he has three on each side. The one in the middle comes out. Then the one on top is a little bit shorter. One on the bottom, a little bit shorter also. So we go to the other side, goes out. One on the bottom, goes out. One on the top, goes out. All right, so let me go ahead and color those in. Those are black. And here we go. So one, two, three. You, know, you guys all notice they all kind of come in towards, they, they get closer on one end, right? On the clo side closer to his nose. There we go. All right. Okay, so what's next with our doggy? What about those eyeballs? Let's make those the outside, the black part. The outside of the black part. So what is this? What does this look like? A big giant U. And that big giant U, you could use this side right here to start the U. You go like this, and then from here, come over, and then back down. Look at that. Let's do that on the other side. So we use this part of his eyeball that's already there. Come over and then bam, look at that. Now let me go ahead and darken this. Whoop. My easel's trying to run away from me. There we go. Look at that. So what I'm going to do next is make those little shiny parts of the inside of his eyes. The little eyes are, are reflecting some light. So there's one, there's two, they're just little circles. Nothing fancy. Another little one here at the bottom, a little smaller than, one, than the one on top. Oh, what, it, what else is missing from our, from our little doggy's eyes? Well, he's got little eyelashes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Look at that. All right, let's color those in. So outside of his eyeball, the black part, there's that. Other side. Look at that. All right, let me just fix that up a little bit, made it a little crooked. There we go. And then his little eyelashes, which I'm going to do in blue. So back to my blue marker, I dropped the cap. I'll pick that up in a little while. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Cool, are we missing anything on our doggy's little face? Oh, what about his little hair? His little, little, little tufts of hair hanging out up on top. Yeah, let's do that. So we got three little lines. One, two, actually more like little blades of grass that stick out. So one, two, three. It almost looks like a little mohawk. Yeah, I like that. Woo, very cool. I think I, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so what's next on our little doggy? We've got the face all done. We got everything on the face. I think I don't think I'm forgetting anything on the face. Got his little body. So let's look at that little body. Might be a little hard, maybe the hardest part on our doggy. But let's look at it. Let's, let's break it down. We got his little body. We take a look at his little body first, right? We got, the, got his little body, and then he's got his little feet. And he also has a little tail. 
So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start on this part of his body. So we're going to make this line, this line that comes down like this and then back over. So that's what I'm going to start with. Now, whatever you're drawing this on, don't go too low because remember, you got the little feet to add. All right, so from here, from right about this part of his neck, right about here, I'm going to come down and then I'll curve in a little bit. I stop right about there. All right, I don't want to go too far over. Now, let me color that in. I'll show you guys in a second what that looks like on that original one, just like that. There we go. That little line goes like this and it stops right there where that little pause is going to be, okay? So I'm going to leave a little space. I'm going to, I'm going to come back over to this side here. I'm leaving a space and I'm coming over, back up, and bam, right there. We're going to stop right there and that's this. From here over to there. So let me color that in. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Cool. Little doggy's looking cool so far. So now what do we got? We got this line right here. We're not going to do the pause just yet. We're going to do this little line. It looks like a C, a backwards C. All right. So that's right here. We're going to start that about right here. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to do that. Bam. Backwards C. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and make his, his little paw right here. This little paw. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go ahead and create that. So what does that look like? Got a little curved line that comes down. And then you got a straight line that goes back and then it curves back up. So let's do that. The line curves down, stops there, comes back, and then curves up. All right, look at that. Cool. So what's next? Come up like this. We're going to leave a little gap in between for the tail. And then we're going to start this and go up. So let's do that. Come up, stop. That's where our tail is going to be. We leave a little space, come over to this side, and we go up and under the ear and come back up and connect that to that. So this little line right here is this one right there. And then this little line here, of course, is this one. All right? While we're here, let's give our little doggy his tail. And your little tail can be as long or as short as you want. But it looks like a big side upside uh, sideways S. Okay, and then like this. All right, look at that. Now, let's go back to this little paw. What is this? What is this? A big U. So look at this. There we go. Or a little U. Maybe it's a little U. I'm going to make that a little, a little bit bigger. I want my doggy to have a little bit bigger paw than that. There we go. And then this one, kind of like a U, maybe a, uh, maybe a little bit different U. So from this part here, right here, come out a little bit, and then bring it back in, and there we go. Okay, I'm going to adjust this one a little bit because I think I made that one a little too big. See that, boys and girls? That's part of the drawing process. You look at what you've got, and then you can make adjustments to fix things to make, it look, make them look more like what you want if it doesn't quite come out the first time. No big deal. All right, we're almost there. What do we got? A little, these little parts right here on our little puppy's, little doggy's paw. These little lines right here. His little toes on his feet, on his little paws. So that one has three, this one has three, and that one has three. And if I'm going too fast, I'm gonna slow it down. I'm actually gonna go and do the mar marker over these in a second, okay? So don't worry about that if you can't see what I'm doing. All right, over to this marker. So here's what I've done so far. Got this little line already all the way down in blue, that one all the way over in blue. I made this, I'm going to go ahead and color that in. Backward C, all right. We decided we're gonna make that little paw in the back. So this is a little curve that comes down like this. And then from there, go straight back and then it curves up and back into the doggy's body. We want to leave a space right there because we're at, that's where our tail is going to go. So then from there, we come over and connect that to the body. All right. While we were here, we decided we we're going to do the tail. So let's do our little tail, which is kind of a sideways S. That's a little S, right? And S is like this, standing up. That one's asleep, laying down, got tired. And then we do another little S underneath that. There we go. How's that? Cool. Our little doggy is looking super happy. 
And then what did we say the little paws are? This is a big upside down U. So here we go. Big upside down U, there we go. And then that's also a big upside down U with maybe a little bit, got a little creative on that side. Okay, so look at that. Upside down U. And then let's do our little doggies, little toes. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, we can't forget the ones on his back foot, his back paw. All right. Look at our little doggy looking super happy. I didn't color in his little tuft of hair up at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and use my little, um, my colored pencil and there we go. There we go. Cool. Let's take a look. Look at our dog here. Are we missing anything? No, I think we got it all. We got our little nose. We got our little eyes. The only thing I didn't outline was a reflection inside the eyes. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I think we got it all. So again, boys and girls go back at any point. Uh, if you missed a step, please go back and, um, you know, re replay that part that you missed. If I was going too fast. Uh, also, just remember, you guys can do this as many times as you want. All right. As many times as you want. And you guys can always go and um, do this a hundred times if you guys want. All right. So uh, in a moment, I'm going to set up for my paint and stuff like that. So I will be back in just a second. Maybe you guys want to take a little break, shake it off. Or maybe you just want to stop the video here and then come back to it tomorrow or the next day or whatever to uh, do the painting part of this. All right, Merleanne, hopefully you are happy drawing your little doggy. I want to see what everybody's doggy looks like. Little doggy looks like. So if you guys could send me a picture, uh, I have my email down below in the uh, comment section or the description for the video. So if you guys want to look for that and send me pictures of your little doggy, that would be awesome. Really, and have your daddy send me pictures of yours, okay? And Max or Jazzy and Hyphy and maybe even Ocean, if you guys are also doing this, uh, send me pictures. All right, guys, talk to you guys in just a moment. All right, I'm back. And I got my paint, my paint all ready to go. So here are the colors that I'm going to be using. I've got some blue, I got some white, I got some green, I got some yellow, black, pink, brown. Whatever colors you guys have, whatever type of um, medium you guys have. You guys uh, got watercolors, or you have markers or crayons or whatever. All of that will work. I'm, as usual, I'm working with acrylic paint. But I understand some of you guys may not have some. If some of you parents or some of you guys that are watching would like to, for me to maybe list uh, the brands that I use, the brushes that I use, things like that, maybe create a little list for you guys that are interested in picking the, this stuff up and maybe where, I'll be more than happy to do that. Let me know in the comments. But uh, boys and girls, Merle Ann, and everybody else that's watching and following along, these are the colors that I'm going to use. But Pretty much any colors that you guys have will work. If you guys want to do a little a brown puppy or, you know, black puppy, gray puppy, yellow puppy, whatever you guys want to do is perfectly fine. The first thing that I'm going to do, oh, my brushes really quickly. I have a, a set of brushes right here. All we need are some, a few different size brushes. Hold on, I'll show you guys in a moment. I know you guys that have followed me before know what I use. I got some paper towels right here. Paper, paper towels are always good. To clean up messes but I got a little maybe quarter inch almost actually it's more like a half inch flat brush uh, anything similar to that would, will work I also have a little tiny um, liner brush this little skinny thing allows me to make really small marks uh, smart small lines uh, I also have somewhere in here now this is more like a quarter inch brush and these are all um, synthetic fiber brushes and they do the job. So, but anything you guys have will be fine. If you guys are using markers, etc., perfect. All right, let's get moving. Ah, oh, but before I do, check this out, everyone. My Spider-Man cup, Amazing Spider-Man cup to go along with my Amazing Spider-Man shirt. I got some green green tea. Mm -hmm. My throat gets pretty dry from speaking quite a bit, so I use that to keep my throat nice and refreshed. All right, so let's get painting. What are we gonna do first? I wanna work on our doggies light blue color. So I'm going to grab one of my brushes 
any brush will do is as long as long as not, it's as it's not too small. If it's too small, it'll just take longer. If it's too big, I have a hard time controlling it, and so I can get paint where I don't want it to go. So this little half inch brush will do the trick. So also I have an extra plate here where I'm going to be making my mixes. Anytime I talk about my paint palette, this is referring. I'll be referring to this. This is my paint palette. This is my uh, plate with the original colors on it. And what do I have here? I've got a little blue. Just take, I'm going to take a little bit of blue, bring it over to my empty plate. I'm going to grab some white from that paint palette. And I'm going to mix the two together. I'm just making a little light blue color. And then I'm also going to take just a little bit of water from my water cup with my brush. I dip it into the water cup and then I bring that over. So this is what I do for those of you that don't know. I'll go like this. Dip it into my water cup, the water cup that's holding all of my uh, clean brushes, the ones that I'm going to be using for the painting. And then I mix the colors together with the water in a whatever light blue color you guys want on yours or dark blue color, etc. It's up to you. But once you get the color that you want, then you come in and you start to uh, apply it to your doggy. All right, our doggy is going to be super cool. Look at that. And I do go over, I did this all in marker. If you guys only did yours in pen, in a pencil, and you go over it, you're going to cover up some of those pencil lines. Later on, we're, we're going to come in and um, using a little small brush in my case or marker in your case or a crayon, you'll come in and uh, darken those up. So I'm not too worried about covering some of these lines up because as, as long as I can still see them and because I'm using a light blue color, I can still see them coming through the, the paint. All right, so I'm not too worried about that. I just want to make sure I get good coverage, cover all my little doggy, little blue doggy's head. I go do the ears. I'm going to avoid this part of the ears, right? Because that's pink right here. So I'm not doing that. I'm just doing this, the areas outside. Just like that. All right, all right. Look at that. Come over to the other side and do the same thing. All right, look at that. So cool. Our doggy looks happy. So now we do his little body because we're still, you know, we got to do his whole body. So we do it all in blue. And if you look at my little brush strokes, folks, I do little, little short brush strokes, little short ones. You don't have to do it like that. It's just a little method that I like. I like that the way the, um, the random, so I go different directions. I like the way that looks on our doggy. I like that the way it looks on almost anything that I paint. But if you if you want to create longer strokes like that, that's fine too. Maybe you want you want to do this, whatever you guys like. Okay, and I went outside my line right here. I just noticed this. I went outside my line, so I just used my finger to clean that up. All right. Now, I have these little areas on my on my little doggy that aren't quite covered. You can see some of the canvas coming through. I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to use a little tiny brush, my um, one of my little liner brushes. This one right here. So I got two liner brushes. One's just a little bit bigger than the other. I'm going to use that to fill in some of the smaller areas that I missed with the big brush. Like that, and like that, like that. Little area around his, his tongue and his mouth. Like up here by his nose, right here by his eyes. Remember boys and girls, this these when you follow along with me, you can get creative. You can do all, whatever you want to do with your painting. If you want, um, if you want to do a pink doggy, you know, that it's, you want to do a purple doggy, that's up to you. It's your painting. So please feel free. You don't have to do the exact same thing that I do. You can, if you want, but feel free to, uh, to make your own thing. Also, like I said earlier, I would love to see what you guys make. Oh, I got to do this little tail too. I would love to see some of you guys' paintings, your, your drawings and paintings. If you guys can email me those the emails listed in the description for the video so look for that i have your parents or you yourselves can email those to, to me but make sure you get your parents permission first all right email those to me and uh let me know in the comment section that you've emailed me so i can so i know that i need to go look for that okay so uh, but i would definitely love definitely love to see what you guys create all right so there's the body of my doggy okay i like that that's a cool color I'm using my little liner brush, little, one of my liner pens. 
So I'm going to take it, I'm going to clean it a little bit, just like this, and I'm going to do his little brown nose. I'm going to just grab my brush, and I grab it right from my paint palette. All right, and I come over and I do this. And I just color it in. I'm using the same little tiny brush, right? I just be careful that I try to stay within the lines. Kind of like, we, like what you guys already do when you're coloring, right? When you use crayons and stuff, you try to stay within the lines, or at least most of you. Um, maybe some of you guys like to uh, like to color outside. but So in this case, we're staying within the lines. Since I'm using brown, I'm going to go ahead and come up here and do his little little tuft of hair up on top. Looks like a little mohawk. Cool. There's that. All right. Since we're still we're using this guy here, I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to clean it up a little bit because I'm going to work with some of the pink. And guess what we're going to do with that pink? Take a guess. Take a guess. Where do we have pink on our little puppy? Oh, I have this pink color right here. If you don't have pink and you only have red and white, you can make pink by mixing red and white together. Okay, so if you don't have pink and you have red and white paint, mix the two together and you'll get a pink color. Maybe not quite fluorescent like this, but but you will get a pink. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some uh, some of the paint off of the brush and I come in and I do this. All right, covering up his cool little tongue. All right, look at that little doggy. He's looking happy. Okay, now I do his ears. There we go. There we go. There's one ear and then there's the other ear. All right. That's looking really, really cool. Now, there's no more pink anywhere else. Unless you guys decide you're going to add pink somewhere else, I'm done using pink. So, grabbing my brush. Cleaning it up. Looks like I'm going to be using this little tiny brush a lot. So what am I doing next with this? I'm going to do the inside of his eyes. I, I come over to my paint palette. And uh, in this case, my bl the black paint that I'm using is pretty thick. So I'm going to bring some over to my, mi to my mix plate. I'm going to dip my brush into the water and then bring some of that water over, mix the two together. When you're working with really thick paint, sometimes it makes it hard to spread onto your canvas. So, or whatever you're painting on. And what I do is I add a little bit of water to the mix to make it easier, all right? It flows a little better. So I'm going to do that a couple of times. And now I'll come over and do this. Use my little tiny brush to color around those the two little, um, white areas that we're going to leave because those are little reflections in our doggy's eyes, little light reflections. Makes his little eyes stand out. So we go like this and all around and come back, come up. The little tiny brushes give us a little bit more control. When working with small areas, I always recommend using the little brushes so you can stay inside the lines and get to all the little small areas. All right, so there we go, all the way around, just like that. And then like that. There we go. Okay, how cool is our little doggy looking? Super cool if you ask me. So since we have black, what can we do now? How about the little outlines of his mouth and this little guy right here, this little line right there. Down. Oh, when you're working with a brush or when you're drawing and stuff, sometimes it makes it hard to hold the brush with your hand like this. It kind of your hand can get a little shaky. So I'll, I'll take my hand, I'll put it on the table and I'll put, so, so my wrist is right here. I'll put the hand that I'm not painting with, I'm sorry, the hand that I'm painting with over my wrist and that's makes it easier, supports my hand and makes it easier for me to do my lines. So here I go. Look at that. Come over to the other side and we'll do the same thing. Try not to block the camera there, so I'm trying to stay a little low with my brush. All right, look at that. What else can we do since we're right here? Well, we can do the little whiskers. How about these little whiskers? Remember we got one long one in the middle, a little shorter one on top, and a shorter one on the bottom. Same thing over on the right hand side. Long one, short one, short one. 
Okay, look at that. Are we missing anything? The only thing we're missing right now is the outline on our doggy and then the background green color. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the background green color first because if I do the blue outline around my doggy when I come in and do the background, I can easily come in and uh, get some paint over the outline and that's gonna make the, the outline not stand out as much. So let's do that background color. All right, we're gonna make that color. And again, you guys can use whatever color you want. I'm going to mix a little bit of a, a green and yellow to make this kind of a lime color. Gotta take a drink of my tea there. So I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush, maybe one of my, my half inch brush. I can also use, actually, you know what? I'm gonna use a little bit of a bigger brush. I'm going to use my, my, um, Let's see, let's see. My one inch brush, how's that? We're gonna use my, I have a one inch flat brush. The bigger the brush, the more area you can cover. The only thing I've gotta be careful with this is that I, when I start doing the little areas around his, like his, like right here around his little hair and stuff, that I, that I don't accidentally go over and cover that up. So when I start doing those areas, I'm going to uh, switch over to the smaller brush. So I'm going to grab a little bit of green off of my mix plate, my paint palette, sorry, my paint palette, a little bit of green. I'm going to bring that over to my mix plate. Now I'm going to grab some yellow, a little more yellow than I did with the green. Whoop, I dropped some on the on the floor there. I don't know if you guys saw that fall off of my brush, but that's okay because I've got a, a sheet that I put down on the floor so that I, for, for accidents like that. So got some yellow and some green. Maybe I'm going to add a little more yellow to it to make it um, less green. And then I'm also going to add some white. So I'm taking some white, bring it over. This should get us a really light yellow, uh, lime color, okay? And if I wanna make it lighter, I just keep adding white till I get to the color that I want. So this one's gonna be a little bit darker than our original, that's okay, I don't mind that. But once I got the color that I want, I'm going to go ahead and start putting it onto the canvas, all right? How's everybody doing out there? Hope you guys are all doing great. Hope you have, you're having fun with me. If you guys ever have any comments, any suggestions, please let me know. And just like I'm doing this as a request from my niece, Merlan, um, you guys can request stuff too. And if it's something that I think would, would be popular, I'll go ahead and do it, all right? And then I'll even mention your name on my video. Okay, so put those in the requests, sorry, in the comment section below. Okay, sorry, I kind of jumped ahead here. So once I have the color that I want, I'm using my big one inch brush and I come in and I start doing that. I just color it in. If you guys notice, the big brush allows me to work a little bit more quickly. And I can, I can do different direction brush strokes. So you guys see this little drip that came off of my brush? It's because I have too much water in the mixture or I, I didn't clean up the brush well enough. Um, when I pulled the brush out of my cup, I didn't, uh, I didn't take all the extra water out of it. So I got a little extra water in the um, in the brush, and so that's why you're getting some drips. I'm getting some drips flying around. So I've got to be careful that I don't get those drips um, on areas that I don't want. So I got I'm going to slow it down a little bit so I'm not uh, sending paint flying all over the place. So there we go. Again, so you guys see, whoops, you guys see that I'm working in different directions. Whoop, I got some on the little tuft of hair. That's all right. I come in and I use my finger to clean that up. So here. Here, like this, like this, like this. All right, look at that, look at that. I'm liking this color. And if you guys wanna do a different background color, that is up to you. Work with whatever colors you guys have at home. Let me lift this up a little bit so I can get to the bottom and I'll still be within the camera there, I think. Like that, like that. Like I said, boys and girls, I don't get, I don't, Try to get too close to the little areas like these in here, the little nooks and crannies, because um, I don't want to accidentally get paint on Doggy's little body. All right, so once I've got all that covered, I'm going to switch to uh, a smaller brush. I'm going to switch to, let's see, which one should I use? All right, my little quarter inch brush, as I like to call it. This is actually a, a size 10 flat brush. For those of you parents or kids that are interested in knowing the exact size that I'm using. 
All right, so here, this is what I'm talking about. These little areas, like in between his feet and stuff, that I don't want to get paint on from coming in and doing that. Woo-hoo. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Coming over, coming up. Come across, come across. Just like that. When I, and here in a second, we'll see what I do. I might switch brushes. We'll see. Use whatever works for you. As you guys learn how to paint, you guys get more experience and stuff, you guys will slowly start to develop your own uh, methods, your own uh, processes, and things like that. All right? Uh, if you, this is the first time you guys have ever painted, please let me know. I don't think so. I'm sure most of you guys painted in school or your parents showed you how to paint and things like that. Whoop. Look at that there. I got a little extra on the ear. No worries. I come in with my finger. And I do this with a paper towel. That's why you keep little paper towels handy. Okay, so you can clean up little messes like that. But anyway, if some of you, if you've never painted before, let me know in the comments below. I'm just curious. And if, uh, you know, you're having fun with me, also let me know. I want to know. Are you having fun doing this stuff? I'm going to be posting a new video, at least one new video a week, maybe more, depending on, um, you know, depending on my time and my schedule. So for this little part right here, I'm going to use a skinny side of my brush. I can brush with, like this, with this part of it, down, instead of going sideways, okay, with the white part of it. What was I saying? I was saying I'm going to be uploading videos once a week is what I'm planning on doing. There we go. Had to, had to concentrate a little bit like that, right in those areas. Sometimes you got to concentrate so you don't get paint where you don't want it to go. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to upload videos once a week, so if not more. So please uh, stay tuned to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe channel uh, button, please, and the uh, notifications little bell below so that whenever I upload a new video, you guys get notified. Parents, especially you, of course, you know, I don't know if your kids, depending on their age, they may not have email. Um, but yeah, for the you parents that would be interested in knowing when I upload something new, Please hit that notification uh, button, little notification bell, so that you get those alerts. I'm switching over to the big brush so I can do the top of my canvas. Those of you that are not doing a canvas, you're doing it on um, on a paper or you know construction paper, cardboard, whatever you've got. You don't have to worry about this. Um, for those of you that are doing it on canvas but you're not doing it on the easel, you have this flat on the table. Okay, let's say you're laying this down on a table. You can go and do the bottom part of it. In other words, down here. I'm not going to do that until the very end simply because if I do it now and I put my canvas back on the easel, it will um, stick to the canvas and I won't be able to take it off. Okay, so what am I going to do? The only thing, there's only one thing left, and that's to outline my little doggy. So switching back to one of my little liner brushes, I'm going to use... The one that I have not used yet simply because it's clean and it's convenient. I don't have to clean it up right now. I'm going to grab some of the blues, this dark blue that I've got on my paint plate. And I bring some of that over here. Anywhere is fine as long as you know I try to keep it clean from the other paint. I am going to grab some water from my cup. Dip the brush in there a couple times and then bring that paint over. Ooh, I think I might have gotten paint on my microphone. That's all right. So I'll do that a couple of times and then watch this little technique, everyone. So if I, I've got this little skinny, it's called a liner brush. If I want to, uh, if I want to make the point skinnier because I want to make the uh, little skinny lines, when I dip this into the brush, I'll pull away and spin the brush at the same time. So I'm doing this, pull and spin, pull and spin. What that does, whoops, I got some of that yellow on there. What that'll do is it'll make the tip of the brush skinnier. All right, it'll allow me to make skinnier lines. So I'll do that a couple times. Now the water that I've got in the paint is gonna help this process work a little bit better. So outlining the doggy, come up, stop right where his little hair is, come over to the other side, come down. All right, I'm liking that. Come over to his little ear, come around the outside. By adding, take your time with this. You don't have to go as quickly as I am, okay? No big deal. All right, I'm going to stop there. I'll come back over to the other side. Now I'm going to go around the rest of his little head. 
come down the side of his face, around and under his chin. If I make a little mistake, I can use my finger to help clean it up. And no big deal. And I can always wipe this off also with a paper towel if I want to remove this. Okay, so perfect opportunity to show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm working with acrylic paint and I made a little smear over there with the blue on the yellow. I'm just gonna grab a paper towel. I'm gonna dip that paper towel into my water cup just to get a little bit of water. And I don't want this soaking, I don't want this dripping. So I'll kind of squeeze that so that some of that water spreads out in the paper towel and then I'll come over and I'll just do this lightly, lightly. I'll do this. I'm removing some of that blue really lightly and there we go there we go took that blue right off with a yellow with a yellow ink so i'm going to put my hand on the table i'm going to use my wrist for support come over there we go come over there we go now right here over the top of the ear back down around the ear come around come around there we go very cool, very cool. Now underneath, I'm gonna go to his, my little doggy's body. Come around, there we go. Back to the other side. Whoops. Try to follow, try to follow the line. There we go. Back around, down, over, back around, up from the top. Come over, down. Oh, and his little tail. Let's not forget his little tail. There we go, just like that. Again, my wrist is laying on top of this wrist. You can't see it, I think it's out of the camera shot, but that's what I'm doing. It's helping me support and helping, it's helping me make straighter lines or um, clean lines, I should say. So a little foot, come all the way around, up. A little foot, come all the way around. There we go, and then let's not forget his little toes. There we go, little tiny toes. Toes on his back paw. Bam, look at that. Oh, we got, we got his little eyeball. We gotta do his little, the little outline around the eyes too. So let's start with the bottom. Ooh, picked up some more yellow on that brush. Let's get that out of there. We don't need any yellow on our brush right now. Well, actually it's that lime yellow that, that I used for the background. There we go, one on each side. And then over the top, back down. Don't do that to each eye. Oop. That's more paint. All right. Little eyelashes. Oh, look at the little eyelashes. Boom. Look at that. Woohoo. That looks so very cool. Our little puppy looks super happy. He's as happy as can be. Oh, when you're done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for those of you that would like to let people know who painted this, maybe somebody comes over to your house and you've got your painting on your wall, they want to know who painted it. One good way of letting people know is to sign it. So somewhere on your, on your paper, your canvas, etc., you want to sign it. And usually we artists will sign at the bottom, but you can sign wherever you want. Sometimes people will even sign on the back of them. I like to do it up front. So here we go. Jesse. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, and of course, before I forget, I want to do the bottom. I want to do the bottom. So I'm going to come over by the bottom. I mean, like this. I'm going to do like this all the way across. Because what if I decide to hang my canvas? I want it to look really pretty. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to have um, the entire canvas covered in paint. The edges, including the edges like this. Whoop, I think I don't, know, I don't know if I was off camera. Hopefully you guys all got, got to see that. And then what I'll do is, I'm not gonna do it at the moment, but here in just a bit, I'll flip it over on its head so that side dries. But for you guys to see the comparison between the two, I'm gonna leave this like this for a moment. But what do you guys think? That is super awesome. Super awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, send me your picks. Don't leave me just yet. I'm gonna come back in just a second to wrap up. 
Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our session for today. Uh, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I know this was a really cool and enjoyable piece uh, for me to do, especially because it was my little niece, Merleanne, that requested it, and that is such a cool thing. Merleanne, sweetie, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and um, send me, have your daddy send me pictures of what you did, okay? I want to I wanna see what you did. Uh, also, everyone, don't forget, I take requests, right? This is how Merlan, how we did this today. Merlan uh, requested it. And um, yeah, so that's that's here. So here we are. Uh, if you guys send me a request and I end up doing it, I will I will uh, say hello to you guys on video. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Very important for me uh, to try to grow this. To, it'll help me grow this. <clears throat> you guys can subscribe and then hit the little notifications bell so you get alerts. Anytime I upload a new video, which at this point it looks like it's probably going to be once a week, uh, although maybe more regularly. I just launched the channel about a week ago, actually a little less than that. And I currently have, this might be the sixth video that's going to be posted. So um, yeah, I think going forward at least once a week and then we'll kind of figure it out from there. But guys, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, please leave your comments below, questions. I don't know if you guys might. Uh, want to talk about but uh, I would really appreciate to hear from you guys also let me know where you guys are watching me from uh, I'm curious to know where my videos are um, being watched okay everyone have a good night it is evening here in California where I am so have a good night and I will talk to you guys very soon bye-bye